Wake up! Nightmare! 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 <laughs> oh god. Honey, how do you stay in the night? What's up my ass, mom? I just started playing Boneworks. As you guys know, just a few weeks ago, in preparation for the release of Bone Lab sometime this year. And that got me wondering, what the f was Stress Level Zero up to prior to releasing their Golden Child Boneworks? After looking around on Steam a bit this week, I found two games that Stress Level Zero produced prior to hitting the jackpot with Boneworks. And these two games were Hover Junkers and Duck Season. You can probably tell from the title of this video that I am not going to be reviewing Hover Junkers. I will just say, it is for some pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> we all know that Boneworks is an absolute banger of a VR game, as I'm sure Bone Lab is going to be as well once it releases sometime this year. But how does one of Stress Level Zero's first VR games hold up in 2022? Keep watching to find out. And most importantly, enjoy the video. For those of you who are like me and never played Duck Season way back in 2017 when it first released, essentially, Duck Season is the perfect mixture of that spooky Stranger Things vibe and the fun of a popular arcade game from the 80s called Duck Hunt. This game provides you with a feeling of extreme nostalgia. The story starts and ends with a young boy binge playing Duck Season nearly all day in his living room. However, this seemingly harmless blast from the past quickly turns into something much more sinister as minutes blend into hours and the nightmarish intentions of a beloved video game character finally come to light. What are you doing? Did you just take a sh on the floor? Mm. Delicious. This isn't really nature. This is all cardboard. We're in a fucking room, you sick bastard. Oh my God. What even is this guy? Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? Dude. What? Oh my god, mom! Mom! Fuck! <laughs> mom! Look! Woo! I'm gonna come right out and say it. I enjoyed shooting ducks for about the first two runs I had through this game story, but holy sh did that get repetitive extremely fast. What is going on with you? What are you talking about? How much longer are we just gonna be shooting ducks here, huh? What are you giving me the old finger wag for, huh? You wag your tail and go f yourself. Every time your character plays duck season within the game, it is basically the exact same thing. There is a little variance in game modes. There are fat ducks that you can shoot. Shoot 14 fat ducks. Fat ducks. Oh, that's a big old thicky poo duck. That is a thick duck. And then there are ducks who fly insanely fast. What does that say? Time attack. Ah, ah, Quicker than that, buddy. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> Dude, that thing must have been on crack. <laughs> it's a really fast duck. But ultimately, you just shoot ducks and rotate between those three game modes. Unless you are playing this game because it is nostalgic, you will lose interest pretty quickly. <laughs> are we watching porn right now? is this? Can I use this? Hello? Hello? Who are you talking to? I've been playing this game for like five hours straight. Six hours straight. Holy shnikes. Let's melt our brains into oblivion. <sighs> Sup face. On the bright side, the 80s vibe is extremely satisfying and I'm not going to lie, Duck Season scared me pretty damn good. Now, what the fuck? No! Something about a Five Nights at Freddy's esque dog as the main antagonist. It seems really quiet. Where's the furry guy? Oh, f coupled with murder. I don't want to turn around. This feels really. This feel. What the f happened here? Some light stalking. This is pretty neat. Oh, that is just amazing physics. 
Oh. Jesus f***ing Christ! Mom, the furries are here! And very creepy undertones through the use of NPC dialogue. Honey, have you seen the knife? I haven't, but I have a feeling you're gonna get murdered tonight! Ho <laughs> ho! And strange occurrences on the television definitely made this game worthwhile for me. Look at all this cottonwood or whatever this is. Maybe these are dandelions? I think that's what these are. Yeah. I suppose it is time to face my fears. Time to face the furry. <laughs> get it? Face the furry? Face your fears? Do you, do you get it? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I got some in my throat just now. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't worry, guys. Uh, it's just a hiccup. I'm not getting exercised or anything right now. <sighs> I'm not possessed. Say it with me now. I am not possessed. <laughs> to add on top of that, I really enjoyed the LSD trip that I was put through during this game. But you didn't. Oh, sweet lord, that's my worst nightmare. That's a big ass jar of cheese puffs. This looks like my uh, typical Sunday night. Nothing out of the usual here, am I right? Yeah, good. <laughs> <gasps> the boss fight with the satanic furry. Did I just win? It was that easy? Pussy! Pussy! You know what I'm saying? Pussy! <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! What's going on here? No! No! <laughs> And the fact that this game has seven or more alternate endings, I was only able to get through like two of them. Yeah! Yeah! What the ass? That's a nightmare and a half. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that is so bad! But from the looks of it, after doing some research online, these alternate endings are extremely different from each other, and might even be worth playing through the very bulky and repetitive section of this game story, over and over again. But you didn't! I'd have to give Duck Season like a 6 or 7 out of 10. I enjoyed the vibe, the creepy 80s aesthetic, and the replayability component of this game, but I really am not a fan of how repetitive the bulk of this game is. Is Duck Season still worth playing in 2022? I'd have to give a solid maybe. Just depends on your willingness to grind through the story to see those 7 or 8 alternate endings, and whether or not this game is nostalgic for you. Well that is basically the end of this video y'all. I hope you were able to get a few laughs, maybe you even got jump scared a couple times right along with me. Have yourself an awesome and relaxing weekend, and I will see you guys next week for another adventure into VR. And I really hope that there aren't any satanic furries in the next video. Anywho, bye!